Hi guys, my name is Jordan, I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor, and today we're quickly going to be going over how to add text to your video. It's a really simple and easy beginner's topic, but it's something that everybody should know how to do well. And who knows, we both might learn something. So let's dive in and let's get started. In order to add a new title, you can do one of two things. Either go File, New, Title, or you can use the shortcut key, Control or Command T. What will appear next is the new title box. It should automatically recognize the sequence settings you're working with in your project, but if anything looks off, feel free to look into it further. Underneath name is what you're going to name your title clip. This isn't going to be the text that actually appears on your screen. It's just going to title it so that you can distinguish it from all of your other clips. So for example, we'll type in coffee text. And you can see over here, it's now appeared with all of our other files. And it has the name that we've given it so we can distinguish it from other text files. Up here is the window that will actually control the customization of your text. Your text customization window may look a little bit different from mine. To change its layout, you can hover over these lines and expand or contract different sections. To add a new title, click the Type tool. Click and drag to create your text box. Now you should be able to type in the text that you want. We can make our text look much better, but for right now, let's just add it into our video. To get out of your text customization window, click the X up top here. Now drag your text file onto your timeline. And there you go, the title has been added to your video. But you can see that if we go a little bit farther in our timeline, our text will disappear. To lengthen or shorten how long your text will stay on the screen, drag your text box either forwards or backwards. For us, we're going to drag it to the entire length of our clip. Now let's go back and customize our text a little bit more to make it look better. To get back to your text customization window, you can do one of two things. You can either double click your text file over here with all of your other footage files, or you can double click your text file in the timeline. So let's go over some of the things you can do to customize your text. When you're customizing your text, just make sure that everything you want to customize is highlighted. This drop down menu shows you all of the different fonts that are available to you. The fonts available to you in Premiere Pro are actually the same ones that you've installed on your computer. So if you install a new font into your computer, it will show up here once you restart your program. For me, I'm going to use this font. It's pretty much my favorite. The box below it controls how thin or how bold your font is. Over here to the right, you can control the size of your font. Click and drag to the right to make it bigger, or click and drag to the left to make it smaller. Or you can click it once, and you can input a number of your choice. The option right below it is called kerning. This controls the spacing between each letter. Drag it to the right to make things appear farther apart, and drag it to the left to make things appear closer together. Over here is what's called leading. If you have multiple layers of font, this will control how close each line is to each other. Next, we have your paragraph styles. You can choose if you want your font to start from the left, center, or from the right. And lastly, in this section, you can toggle on and off whether or not you see the background. The background frame that appears behind your text is the one that your playhead is over. So if we move the playhead forwards, you can see that our footage changes. Over on the right hand side is your title properties. This is basically a more extensive version of the things we just covered. You can see that you have some of the same options like font, size, and kerning, but you also have a bunch of other things that go into more detail. I would encourage you to play around with each of them and see what they all do. But I'll show you two more that I think are really important and used very often. Below here you have color. Click it and you can choose a different color for your text. For us, we're just going to stay with plain white. And then farther down below, we have strokes and shadow. To add an inner or outer stroke to your text, click on the add button. Automatically, it'll come up with the default, but to change the size of your stroke is here. And to change the color of your stroke is here. I'm going to just hide the stroke for now. And then finally, you have a shadow. If you want a shadow to be cast behind your text, this is where you do that. Here you can change the size, the opacity, the distance it is away from your text, and the angle. Our text looks great now, but now I want to center it into the very middle of our frame. To do that, click the selection tool. Now you can either move your text by clicking and dragging it, or you can drag the borders themselves. This is my preferred method because it keeps everything in proportion. If you want to move your text manually, but you want it to stay on the same focal plane, click and then hold the shift button. And then if you drag up and down, it doesn't matter if you go a little bit left or right, it'll stay exactly on the same focal plane. The same thing will happen if you go to the left or to the right. If you want to make this exact, you can also use the centering tools. This will make it centered vertically, and this will make it centered horizontally. Keep in mind, this isn't based on where the text is located, it's based on the entire box of text. So if you make your box smaller to the size of your text, this is how you get a perfect center. Great! Now we're going to exit, I'm going to show you one more thing that I really enjoy doing with text. If you click on your text box in your timeline, and then go to Effects Control. Here you can secondarily change the position, the size, rotation, 
an anchor point of your text. And you can hit these buttons to reset all of these settings. But the one that I get most excited about is blending modes. Depending on the color of your text, the blending modes will change how your text and footage interact with each other. I'll give you an example. Let's change your blending mode from normal to overlay. Pretty interesting, right? Let's try another, soft light. Play around with each of these to see the different effects that you get. And guys, that's it. That's a quick basic tutorial of how to add text to your video. If you guys found this video helpful, uh, consider giving a like or even subscribing. If you guys just hated it, leave me a comment, let me know what I can do differently. But thanks so much for dropping by, and I hope to see you next time.